Hey guys, Adam Trigger here, wagertalk.com. Today we're talking Northeastern Huskies basketball, but I'm going to teach you how to bet the Coastal Athletic Association in about five minutes. So stay tuned for that. But first, I want to talk to you about a great special I have for college basketball this season. Coupon code TRIGCBB, that's T-R-I-G, CBB, gets you my entire college basketball package from opening night on November 4th right through Championship Monday when they're singing one shining moment, crowning a champion, and it's the lowest price it's going to be pretty much all year. $3.95 $3.95 the whole season. I've turned 48, 49 units of profit over the last two years. Um, that's that's net gain over the last two years in college basketball. I plan to do it again this year, and I hope that you are joining with me. But even if you don't, listen to this video because I think that there's big-time betting opportunity in the CAA this year. I've already done videos on Elon, Hampton, and today we're talking Northeastern, but I want to make just a general point about the Colonial real quick. I think the bottom five teams, that's Northeastern, Elon, NCANT, Hampton, and Steve Merrill's William & Mary Tribe, all likely finish higher than they did last season. So take that, write that down. The bottom five teams in the CAA, in my opinion, project stronger than they were last year. Why is that important? Because these teams are going to be priced as bottom options, yet all sort of profile as a team that can exceed their standing from last year. And Northeastern is one of those teams, in my opinion. Uh, I think that this team collectively is improved, but you're, you're, I don't think everyone's going to agree with that because you lose Lucas Sakota, you lose Joe Pridgen, you lose Chris Doherty. And, you know, I, I think I think people might look at this team and say, OK, they weren't very good last year. They lost a couple of their key players. So they're probably not going to be as good this year. But but I actually think this team improved in a couple of, of areas that are very important. The first, defensively. Northeastern was horrific defensively last year. And I'm going to talk in a second about how I think they've improved. The other thing I like here, continuity. They have four juniors back that all played 20 or more minutes last year. They're going to start five upperclassmen because it's going to be the four juniors, Rashard King, Rashad King, Harold Woods, Masai Troutman, Jared Turner. And then the fifth starter is likely either going to be Yuri Fritz, who comes over from Canisius. He's a junior. Or Sam Thompson, who comes over from Colgate, the grad the grad senior. So you're looking at four juniors who have played 20-plus minutes within the program with Bill Cohn. And then two kind of like seasoned starter, like mid-major starters that I think are, are very coachable and probably come right in. Uh, specifically Sam Thompson from Colgate, playing behind a couple really good bigs at Colgate. So he's only averaged like 15 minutes a game the last couple seasons. But yeah, I think he's capable of more, and I I think he's a potentially nice piece here. Now, defensively last year, Northeastern was really bad. Like that's I, I got to see them play a couple of times in person. They were a mess defensively at times, but some of that was some of that is is legit. Some of that is bad luck because. Teams shot 37.5% from three on Northeastern last season. It's one of the highest clips in the country. So you can look at that a couple of different ways. Like one, and this is without a doubt, Northeastern was giving up quite a few open threes, right? So like some of that, actually probably most of that would be on the defenders, but still, they the other team still has to make them. And as we know, college basketball, that's not a given. So I think they were poor defensively. But I also think they were a little bit unlucky with the amount of three-pointers that were hit against them. And so I think with some slight defensive improvements and then maybe just Murphy's Law, you know, just maybe just some, some um, you know, regression toward the mean, I think Northeastern could be better defensively. Jared Turner is a fantastic defender. And I think this is a guy that's going to go under, like, appreciated, underlooked. I haven't seen his name really on, like, preseason CAA you know, all conference teams. Yet I do think he's probably Northeastern's best all around player. He's an outstanding defender. He's a great shooter for a six, eight big. Um, I, I, he's fantastic. Like he's a great defender. And then you bring over Fritz from Canisius, you bring over Thompson from Colgate. Uh, they're, I think respectable defenders in their own regard. And so right there, it gives you two pretty good defenders that are going to be probably guarding the opposing, you know, front court for the other team. So it's really just about cleaning it up on the defensive side 
with their perimeter defense. And again, I think some of that comes in the respect that you've got three guys in King, Woods, and Troutman that are all coming back and playing another year and, and should all just improve. Northeastern at times last year was a mess without Doherty and Sakota on the floor. But again, I think that's a little bit, I, I think that's a little bit blown out of proportion in the respect that Sakota and Doherty took a lot of shots for Northeastern last year. And now without them, I think it's going to give guys like Miss Outman, like Harold Woods, the chance to sort of blossom on the offensive end. Both of those guys averaged 10 points a game last year. I think they're capable of more. And, and again, it could just be a little bit of addi- addition by subtraction. Um, staying healthy, you know, there was stretches last year where Sakota missed a, a ton of time. And I think you just have a, a better five, six, seven man rotation this year than you did last year, and also one that is likely better defensively. I'm also looking at the schedule here for Northeastern as we go into the season. There's they really don't play a game that's not winnable until about December. So you're going to get a great look at Northeastern against teams that are very similar to the teams that are going to play in Colonial Athletic Association, uh, Coastal Athletic Association play. BU, Princeton, Harvard, uh, FIU, Florida Gulf Coast, Bakersfield, Vermont, LaSalle, Colgate, UMass. Like These are all teams that I think are, are a good barometer for what you're going to see when you get to the, the Coastal uh, you know, conference play. So Northeastern's not going to play a bunch of scrubs in non-conference. They're also not going to go and play all these power five schools that they're going to get killed by. You're going to have really like a couple of months where I think you can watch them play some of these, you know, teams from other conferences that come from similar conferences and have a very good idea of what to expect out of them. When you get to conference play, what I expect is that they improve on last year's finish. Bill Cohn is in his 19th season head coach a few years ago, go back five, 10 years. He ran through this conference. I think he's starting to to build the team he wants again here. And I expect a better finish from Northeastern. So Northeastern's a team that I'm looking to bet on. I think you could say the same from all these sort of bottom teams in the coastal, that they're probably going to be a little bit better than they were last year. Probably some great betting opportunities. Once we get into conference play, that was the preview to North for Northeastern. Check out all my other previews, wager talk, YouTube channel. We've got a nice playlist, like subscribe, And uh, we're going to keep these coming for you right till opening tip on November 4th. We'll see you guys next time.